Let's see what he's got going here. Attach the knee, brings it together, comes over for the submission. Interesting. You don't see that a lot. Look at that. So, saying don't let them crowd you and slip this in. Taps the knee, bang, falls back, locks it up. There it is. Pretty effective technique if you get it. Look at Caleb sit up, which is how we would begin to defend, but here, taps the knee. Puts it in place, brings the leg over, cranks, causing the submission right there. Interesting. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, going into an arm bar. Notice how smoothly he brought that into play. Notice how he had the back of his uh, opponent's neck controlled. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. Neck control. Steps back. Swings and brings everything around. And there's the arm bar. Smooth. Let's watch. There it is. Arm bar. Very nice. Wings. There it is. In place. Nice. Alright. Look at those tattoos. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Caleb's got one little tattoo and Shannon's got his old back tattooed. <laughs> I tell you what. Heck of a nice guy. Here we go. There's the arm bar. One more time. Nice. Good position. Alright. Look at Caleb. Okay. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen to me? Let's see. And spreads. Puts his foot inside. Reversal. These are techniques that are used to... Uh, to control someone who's sweaty, who is not wearing a gi. There's the arm wrap. There's the spread with the grapevines. Look at how he goes under the armpit to help with the roll. And um, these techniques get a little bit away from the traditional approach. Watch him put his foot inside the thigh because these are these are techniques for the octagon, for the ring, where people don't have garments that you can depend on for grip, and where people are sweaty and slippery. So it goes under the armpit to help with that reversal.